All I wanted to do was help people. Victoria Anderson posted a Craigslist on Thursday with only the best of intentions, an ad offering her home as a safe haven for unwanted children. All good intentions. I didn't want to hurt anybody. I didn't want anybody to get freaked out or scared. But it did set off alarms and pretty quickly the advocacy group Safe Haven New England out of Boston committed to publicizing safe haven laws across the country caught it within hours. Every single day we do searches on certain keywords. Mike Morrissey told me he figured it was likely what it turned out to be good intentions but worried it could be something more sinister called Minneapolis police. I do daycare for one child right now and her mom was picking the baby up and we saw the cops. Victoria quickly learned she couldn't legally do what she hoped to do and quickly deleted the post but she still hopes somehow to help. Minnesota's safe haven laws took effect in 2000, allowing unprepared mothers to anonymously take newborns to hospitals within three days of birth. Two years ago, that was expanded to seven days, expanded to include urgent care clinics and calling 911 for an ambulance. Safe Haven New England's Mike Morrissey says nationwide these laws don't get nearly enough publicity. We think we've got to get a lot more education out there into the community from the top to the bottom. And that means he and Victoria have the same motivations because she believes too many women don't know the laws and too many who do still don't trust. They'll stay anonymous. But I do think that there are people that need help and they are too afraid to go to the hospitals or the police officers. So I kind of wanted to be the middleman and help that out.